Peace, love, peace, health, happiness, and prosperity. I'm Dr. Akila, and today I'm going to do a video presentation on how to make a detox bath. This video came as a request from one of our subscribers who wanted to know how to make a detox bath. As a matter of fact, she asked me if I could video tape my um, detox bath ritual, and I said, no problem, I can do that. So. We're here in my home and I'm going to show you um, how I make my detox bath, what I do, and um, how I go about the, uh, making it with the ingredients and everything like that. Now I'm going to show you a lot of things. Some things are optional and some things are ne uh, necessary, and I'm going to tell you the difference between the two. Um, this is optional. I always burn incense when I am taking a bath. I just love the smell. Uh, this is Nang Champa, one of my favorite. I think a lot of people always use Nang Champa for incense. And I have the incense going when I run my water. Uh, another thing is I have I always have a big towel because I'm very tall, so of course I'm going to have a big towel to wrap myself in. Um, one of the necessities you're going to need is Epsom salt. This is a necessity. You're going to use two cups of this and um, you're going to put this in the water and let it dissolve as the water is running. The second thing, the second thing you're going to, uh oh, drop this stuff and stuff is coming open. <laughs> the second thing you're going to use is bentonite clay. All right. I'm in Atlanta and the only place I can get bentonite clay is from a co-op store called Sevenanda, which is down in Little Five Points. And I love this store. This is where I can get a lot of my clays. Now I have red clay, but we're in Georgia and red clay is everywhere. I even have red clay in the back of my yard. So I, I think it's silly to, to buy red clay when you live in Georgia because you can go to any construction site or if you have a house, you can just go in your backyard and just get the red, the red clay. You can get the stuff. But here is the bentonite clay, and um, I, you're going to use one cup of bentonite clay. So this is a must as well. Angelica root is optional. Now, I have angelica root uh, because if you have been in a negative situation or a negative environment, or you've been around people who have been trying to zap all your energy, you know, like spiritual vampires, emotional vampires, just trying to suck all of your energy out of you. And, and a lot of times they're, they're not aware that they're doing this. So um, being that who I am as a naturopathic doctor, and I travel a lot, and I'm around a lot of people, I encounter some of these people from time to time. And I recently encountered someone who was just constantly just grabbing onto me like a leech, trying to suck out all my energy. You know, to bring their vibratory level to to the to, to, to the level I'm at now, and um, and also around a negative person, and you want to just get their energy, get their get their vibration, get their stuff off of you, and angelica root will do that. I use half a cup of this. This is half a cup of angelica root. This is all you need, and just put it in a tub and let that um, mix in with the bentonite clay and the Epsom salt. A must, now the angel, uh, angelica root is a, is a necessity. What is a must is the skin brush. Excuse me, I gotta fix this because I'm not trying to give a show here. Okay, there we go. Um, what is a must is a skin brush. So you can use a skin brush or a loofah pad, a loofah pad, however, however you pronounce it. I love the um, skin brush that has a handle because you can take it off if you want to do your back you can put it on but what you do is you put your hand here and I'm not going to brush my entire body right now but when you're ready to get in the tub this is what you do you just brush towards the heart okay start from the tips of your fingers and just start brushing that dead skin uh, now you can't see this, but I can see them floating around. If I had the blinds up, the reason I have them down is because the backlight is affecting the camera. But if you actually put your arm in the sunlight and brush your skin, you will see 
the dead skin just floating and flying in the air. And it's really amazing just to show you how important skin brushing is. So just brush your skin towards your heart. Start from your fingers. Now some people start from their toes and work their way up. You can do that too. There's no wrong way of skin brushing. Just brush your skin. But it's best to brush towards the heart. And the reason why I have this stick here, I love this stick, is because if you want to do your back, you can do it like this too. It's just in case you don't have anyone to help you out. And um, when you finish soaking in the tub, you're going to want to wash, and this is optional, this is Castile soap, and uh, this is Dr. Bronner's Castile soap. This is lavender and tea tree uh, soap, and I love this. I got this from Savannah too because we can sell it in bulk. Just bring your container down there, fill it up, and they, you just pay for how much uh, you put into your container. And so once I soak in, so you have to soak in the tub for a minimum of 20 minutes no more than an hour, okay? So you're gonna soak it in. You're gonna another thing I meant to, I forgot to say is uh, tell you is that you have to make the water as hot as you can stand it. All right, that's important. You have to make the water as hot as you can stand it because you want to promote sweat. You know, you want to sweat and release all those toxins out of your body, really rejuvenate the skin, renew some skin cells, and just really just relax your muscles and relax your body and just unwind. You can listen to inspirational music, you can listen to jazz, classical, anything that just makes you feel wonderful. Something that's going to relax you. And while you're in the tub, sweating is very important. Here's another necessity. You have to drink water. Now you all are probably saying, you're not really going to drink all that water, are you? Actually, I'm going to drink more than this. I'm just showing you <laughs> uh, just an example of how much water I'm going to drink while I'm in the tub because I do my detox bath for an hour. Um, but like I said, you can do a minimum of 20 minutes. Some, most people do it for 30 minutes and then they're out. But I really detox and relax. This is just my, my happy place. It's just a place where I can go. And, and another reason why I don't have the water on right now is because this is, this is a jacuzzi uh, bathtub that's pretty loud. So, um, well, it's not loud where it's disturbing my peace, but it's going to be loud where if I was to talk to you in front of the camera, you wouldn't hear a word that I'm saying. So I'm talking to you before I take my detox bath. So what I'm going to do when I turn the camera off is put very hot water in there. I know how hot I can take it, so it's going to be really, really, really hot. And I'm going to skin brush. But before I skin brush, I'm going to put two cups of Epsom salt in there. And then I'm going to put one cup of bentonite clay. Got my cup right here. And then I'm going to put the angelica root, which is optional. I'm going to put that in there. And then once I have that all inside, I'm just going to take my hand and swirl it around and mix it in there and let it dissolve. And while it's dissolving, that's when I start my skin brushing. And once I finish my skin brushing, I get inside the tub very carefully, and then I just relax. Of course, because I have a lot of hair, I have my towel that I wrap my hair in, and then I get in the tub because I'm not trying to get my hair wet. So I wrap my, I wrap my hair up, then I get into the tub, and then I relax. I have my music on and just really thinking of positive thoughts, positive affirmations, and a lot of things, visualizing, just really cleansing myself, okay? And that is how I do my detox bath, okay? All right, so I hope you learned some things today. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me and leave a comment or question uh, at the bottom of the video here, and I will answer you as soon as I can, okay? All right, this is Dr. Akila, and I leave you as I approach you with the blessings of love, peace, health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great one.